Once you are down, the crutch booster, as you see, it is a Wabco, Wabco company crutch booster. So I'm going to show you its operation. Then I show you. We, we tear it down and we see the uh, common failures and how to diagonalize. So to check to know how it's operate at point 14 here. This is point 14. This is a hydraulic port. Uh, this is a uh, hydraulic. We I can we can use a, there are too much type of hydraulic. We have power oil hydraulic, but here we use a black fluid. So black fluid will come here, and here we have air, constant air from the from the tank. Yeah, from the tank. So this is the valve. In this booster, we are compressing against the pressure plate. The pressure plate has a very high tension spring to, in order to disengage the crutch. So we cannot use brake fluid only, as we use brake fluid in the small car. But here we use brake fluid to operate high pressure. So brake fluid is like a signal to open the valve, and the high pressure will come inside and push against the... the, the there is a cell here. It will push. There is a, a piston here. It will push, and this one will go out and press. So. To know your booster is okay, that's what we call preload, and this is the preload valve. You push it inside. Of course, when we are connecting it to the vehicle, we have to preload it. And when you preload it, this valve has to come out. So, in this position, that's when we, we, we mount it on the car. And when the valve comes out, that means it is working. It is an operation is working. And the common failures, there is a seal here. When this seal gets damaged, when you uh, preload it with, with the signal of hydraulic, the air will get leakage here. So that's the common leakage. The, the hydraulic will pass over like this and comes out of this valve. So you will have a lot of hydraulic here in this area. That shows that the hydraulic seal has failed. And when you preload it, the hydraulic when uh, when uh, the hydraulic pass here, so it cannot open the valve for the air to go and open and uh, operate the pressure plate so that we can disengage. So it may, it may make it may lead to the crash plate failure. So we are going to tear it down. So should we go on and we tear it down? So let us open it and you see everything inside. So there is a pipe here. This pipe helps to evacuate the air in the chamber as you load it. If there is air in the chamber and has no escape, we shall have a compressed air in the system and this will not get out here. So this pipe will evacuate the air in the chamber as this piston goes up to compress this one. So it, the air will get out. So let us begin from this side. And then it shall come to the valve. So to open it, it has a lock here. These small locks. You can open the locks as you see. And uh, yeah, this is our piston. This is our return spring. So. This is our main seal, and this is the seal protector. So as you see inside it, it's just a chamber. Ah, and uh, this one, as you see, it is the preload valve. As you press it inside here, it will come inside. And as you load it on the car, it will push it backside, so meaning the, the booster is OK. So this is the chamber, and this is the piston. This is the seal, everything. This is how it works in order to push. But backside here is the system. So let us tear down the system and you see everything. To tear down the system, we have to use a 10.
so this comes out like this and this is they are, we have two springs that operate this valve and they work against this one so this is our valve as you see let me open it let me remove the, the, the big one as you see So this is our valve, how the system works. Now, hydraulic, this is, this is, is, is mounted like this. When hydraulic flows here, it comes on top here. So when hydraulic comes on top of here, what does it do? Remember, this one is loaded, is preloaded with the spring as I can show you. So this is the inlet port for the air and this is the outlet port for the air. So the hydraulic comes out. So how does it operate the valve inside here? This is the valve. You understand? To operate the valve, you have to push down. You have to push down this one. This one, hydraulic has to push it down a little bit. But how does it push it down? It has to operate on a simple principle of uh, there's this spring you see. It's a spring, it's a spring, uh, a spring ring. It sits down here. It sits inside there. And now, what 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 happens? This one, okay. yeah. When it sits down there, and this one sits on that spring. You understand? And now. We have this one, we have this valve sitting on top here. And we have this one, and we have this one. And here this comes and sits on top of here. So you understand, like this. So it is tight like this. So what happens? The, when the hydraulic comes, the hydraulic will just press like this. As you see, this one goes down and up. You can see this this one. Focus. This one is a bit up now, because when we tight it on this one, we are preloading the valve. But when hydraulic comes, hydraulic now we are preloading the valve. As you see, we, we, you, can, you can see it is a bit, little bit coming up. When hydraulic comes on top here, it will push down. And as you see, it goes a little bit down. Down a small bit will open the air to flow inside. So this is the operation of the valve. Uh, it uses these springs as a control. And when the air goes, and the, you, 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 you reduce pressure from the hydraulic, the pressure, because uh, uh, the Crutch, the pressure plate has a high tension spring. The high tension spring will push back this piston, and the piston will evacuate the air back, and the air will come and it will be exhausted down from this side, from this to the, to, to the atmosphere. So, this is how it works. So, in order, when you have a failure and you get the seal kit. You just have to replace this seal. There is one seal here. There is one seal here. Uh, there is another seal here. There is another seal here.
Okay. Okay. Every work you uh, need a video? Why? The beat is great. Because your work is uh, save your mind, eh? Yes. Thank you. 